Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today video is spawning in on Disturbed Ward. Now straight away I'm going to point out my totem is on a hill across the board. That's going to be gone pretty quick so I'm not going to be able to rely on my totem for regression. Oof, I didn't realize there was a little uh, an area to get stuck on there. I'm, I'm glad I saw it now though. Alright, so that totem isn't going to last long because whoever works on that generator who has object of obsession... That's going to be a bit of a pain to try and outplay it. There was two people on that generator because it changed colors late. Just going to walk into it. It's a good pallet. You can give me the tea bag. We know how it ends, Nancy. We know how it ends. Good news is she's funneling me towards somebody else. I have time right now while I wait for my teleport to build up. No tea bag this time, though. Okay, that's an M1 on Nance. That's two good pellets out of the way. She has objects so she can see me the whole time, which is okay. Because I can see her the whole time too. And it's a counter on its own. And down she goes. So people worry about object of obsession? Don't. You can just play around it like that if you're Freddy Krueger. There goes my totem on the hill. Like I said, it wasn't going to work where it was. I actually haven't been in the new Disturbed Ward, so everything here is new to me. Taking everyone on our way. I'll lose that corner generator now. We'll pick up our Nance. Now the good thing about Nancy is she's going to be the last person I kill. And that comes down to the fact she has Object of Obsession. And I'm going to be able to see her the entire time. Based on the fact she has Object, I'm highly thinking she's also going to be running uh, Decisive Strike. So i got to play around that too. Losing Ruin early hurts. But, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to prep some of these hotspots. This is the first time I've had a look inside the new Disturbed Ward. I'm going to open this. See what we see coming in from over the hill. Nothing. I saw a scratch fading then. we got a gamer over here. Really nice window alignment for her. Let's shut it down. Didn't see the snare. Down she goes with an M1. Regress the generator manual, teleport across the board back to the hook where I'm going to take an M1 on whoever's coming into the trade. Okay, based on the fact that she has object and he is, or she made it to a pallet, good for her. I'm not going to be able to do much about that. There was three people here too. I wanted to counter borrowed time by the fact that I had her asleep. She's camping the pallet, so let's get a free pallet out of her. It's okay if we get stunned. Now she missed the skill check. I'm gonna hurt her make it a little bit more. Because somebody back on the generator across the board, somebody back on the generator on the left. Let's get our manual regression. Tinker across the map. That's gonna be everybody injured right now. Oh, I turn my camera and that might actually cost me this whole generator. I flicked it a little bit too hard then. That surge regression on the generator. I had to go for the closest injured person. Somebody's back on that. Let's scare them. One went back the way. Well, there you are. Nice. Shut it down. Shut it down. Dead hard. Yep. Down she goes. Now we've got two people down over here. One guy working through a gen across the board. He can have that generator now because I'm going to trade it for two hooks. I think two hooks is worth one generator any day of the week, especially as a powerhouse like Freddy. Alternatively, I could try and go in for it now. I'm not taking my teleport, it's a bait. She stayed on it. She left, but we can take an M1 with her. Give her something to do with that nice med kit. Forgets that I can see her as well. There's a nice M1 in the back. Take a free pallet out of the way. She's running pretty far. I'm getting ready to teleport back now. We'll take one more pallet out of her and we'll leave it there. She cannot successfully loop this against a Freddy Krueger. The thing is, she can see me the whole time. Snare. Dead heart. Down she goes. I might lose that generator because they're stacked on it right now. That's three people on a generator. I shouldn't have picked her up. I'm going to lose one to two generators now for that one decision of picking this person up. Hooking them in front of the generator is the wrong call. Hooking her across the board is the right call because I wouldn't have been able to stop it with three people on it. Let's 
Terra and Struggle. They're running right across the board together as a group. Oh, that was unlucky timing. You're running straight into me. Dead hard, no. Make sure we get the M1 in surge range. Down she goes. Let's pick her up. See how she responds. She instantly went from one gen to another. Smartest call is hook her beside the generator nearly completed. Based on the fact the generator is nearly completed and it looks like we got a gamer coming in for it, this is phenomenal news for me. It tells me survivors like to constantly come back, so now I can see her at all times. And yeah, I could just play to the generator. I saw a hand then. This is okay if she wants to give me another free really good pallet first loot. Never mind, that's Surge on the generator. That's not Surge on the generator. They're trying to complete it and then save her. You're both running the same way. I'm going to take the down on Surge. It's the smartest call. I won't make it in time. That guy's been picked up. That's good. Well done. I'm going to double back for this one. The fact he's standing there healing means he's not doing a gen. This one's miles away from where I need to be. Alright, let's break this. I do have a bit of regression. I have everyone injured but one person. Holding onto this gen is going to be very hard. There's a snare there to slow her down with an M1. Take a nice free pallet out of the way. There's only so many pallets on the map. Losing my ruin really early does hurt, but that's alright. I don't want to protect this generator anymore. It's going to become too much of a pain. It's 99% complete and protecting it will lose me the game. Oh, get a little stuck there. Nice pallet out of the way. Somebody going through a chest above me. Let's go get the guy upstairs. He's most likely injured. Didn't see where he went. There he is. There's my surge. Looks like we're not alone, are we, Dwight? There's an M1 in the back. I'm on the wrong side. Feels bad. Tick her across the board. That's alright. I can work with that. Because I hear this. She has no pallet. I made sure I broke them all. Dead hard. There it is. Down she goes. This girl's injured. She won it. What does she agreed? What does she do? She does neither. She only has so many charges in that med kit. We'll take a nice M1. We lose one generator. We get a regression here. And then we hook her right in front of this generator again. Everybody's currently injured. I have two generators left. I have no ruined stability or regression. And I've got multiple people that are currently on death hook now. They have to be very careful. That girl is now injured upstairs. And now she has to 100% heal because I can see her at all times. All it's going to take is one mistake. Catching her out. And we're going to be able to walk away. i got a pretty comfortable three gen here. She wants to work on the gen, but... I, rather than rotating to the generator 10,000 miles apart, let's have a look from above. There you go, we all saw that. We know what that means. Bait my teleport up top so she doesn't go back in. Mm-hmm. We're in trouble, Dwight. Sidestep into the down on Dwight. We get surge on our generator again. Leave Dwight immobilized on the ground. We'll take that hook on Dwight when the time suits us best. Working on the generator. Let's force her off of the generator. Now we're going to play around the fact that she has objects. Remember, objects are two-way killer perk. There we go, we've got a gamer coming in for the save now. Down she goes, and now you have objective obsession, my dear. What do we want to do here? Now we can go for the snowball off the fact that she is running a perk that allows me to see her at all times. Got a little stuck in the doorway. Right now, they're on a timer and I am not. So even though she's looking at me and she's countering the fact I'm Freddy, remember, I caught her twice because of object. And she can keep running around, but that guy is going to die and hook. Unless Unbreakable happens now. You don't make anything here. And down she goes. And that's going to be game over. That's going to be an education informative Freddy Krueger game. So that just goes to show you, you can counter object as Freddy if you understand how to move and how to counter. I lost my ruin at the start of the trial. I ended up with a 3 gen strap because they wanted to work across the board and because they kept greeting for a generator that was nearly done. If they just left that generator that was nearly done and maybe worked on one a little further away like that, even though it's kind of close, they could still take spacing towards this jungle gym they have available all the way over here. So that was a little bit of a mistake made by the survivors. We can see the girl in the middle of the 
on that. I will pick her up because I think she might actually have object with unbreakable and DS. I'm not 100% sure. That means there is still one person MIA. So it just goes to show you, a killer like Freddy can shut down object. Um, I know a lot of people think it instantly counters him. A clown can do the same thing as well with a bottle and good bottle placement. It's about knowing what chases to take and what not. Would have been harder as clown because I can't bait teleports as clown. And this gives the final survivor a shot at the hatch. They did come in for the save at the right time, but look what generators were left. One miles away across the board that we had no interest in. Um, I'm going to try and find this survivor and give her the hatch. In fact, you know what? I will... I don't know where she is. I'm going to close it and see if she has adrenaline. Looks like that won't be adrenaline. So keeping in mind, when you are versing a killer like Freddy, you have to be very careful with your time management. At the start of the game, they should have focused, or rather than stacking on generators, they should have split up and applied pressure in different areas rather than trying to complete the one generator. Completing the generator when I picked the other girl up and was bringing her to the hook was 100% the right call. That generator I'm nodding at right now, that one there, but it came down to the late game. You can shut these loops down very easily as Freddy with good placement of a snare. All you have to do is know how a survivor is going to run it and what's going to happen. For example, that is the ideal spot and this is the ideal spot. Obviously, you can't always get that, and you can put one there instead, but they can bait the medium bolt on the window if you're lunging blind from around the corner. You always want to place it there, and you want to run through this direction. You can make your decision on what happens here. So when I'm coming through this loop and the survivor's on that corner, I need to make a decision, what am I going to do? Am I going to chase him? If the answer is yes, I'm going to hide my light, I'm going to moonwalk with it, I'm going to curve the corner and twist around the corner rather than just running, looking in a straight line because there's a giant red light that comes out of a killer's chest. So you have to be very careful of moments like that. In a jungle gym or a loop like this, a phenomenal place to put a snare is right there depending on how the survivor's coming. If they generally, a survivor will try this. They'll come running through here. They'll block your line of sight because you'll be following and then they'll play the window. So your counterplay to that is look in this direction when you're running after them. Twist, curve, curve, and then twist back out. Now you need to make a decision. Do you go that way or that way? If you go this way, probability states are going to take the window. So you make your light go one way and you twist and you moonwalk the other way and then you play to the corner. And you're most likely going to get palace done. Listen, because you can hear if they try and make a line of sight play around the corner or if they play the other side. Now if they play the other side and try to run a loop on it, then I could be able to utilize the window efficient or effectively. Keep that in mind. If they ran the whole long way round, you have a snare already in prep to counter that. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. This has been an education formative rank 2 Freddy game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do education formative DVD killer and survivor content over at Twitch. If you guys want to tune into the live stream, be great to have you guys in there. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.